Hello, hello, everyone. Hope you're having an excellent day today. We're doing pretty good here at Atlanta Brick Co. Thank you for joining us. We sure appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. For those of you who have subscribed and joined our memberships program, we sure appreciate it. It's great to see so many of our friends in the comments. Very cool to see T Valkyrie, Grumpy J, Geo Joe, Nexus to Zach, got Meg, Flounder Collects is here. And Flounder had an interesting comment. I think I need to join on this channel as well. I'm never on the other one with these dang work meetings and can't use my stickers. I had that same problem, Flounder. Um, my other account, my other YouTube account, has those stickers. And so whenever I'm watching like the Joy of Building or something, I'm always on the wrong account. So that's, hopefully YouTube can streamline that process for us at some point. But um, we had a request from, where was it? A-B Bricks to check out the military stuff first. So we'll do that first, but yeah. Anybody who's watching, feel free to drop a comment. Let me know what you want to see, and we'll see if we can head over and check it out. I can't get to all the comments, but I try to get to as many as possible. Mark, OMG, it's Mark. I'm your biggest fan, OMG. <laughs> well, thank you, Nexus. <laughs> I'm a big fan of you, too. And yes, AB Bricks is like, yes! I think they're happy to see the military stuff. We got a number of cool helicopters up here. One of them is a Battle Break helicopter. Uh, and one of them is a uh, Brickmania helicopter, that's what I was trying to say. So, yeah, Deluxe Sherman, Desert Patrol. It's a cool dune buggy with a gun on the back, so pretty awesome. There's a couple World War II tanks over here. There's a Humvee. That's pretty nice. And a bunch of cool figures here, too. How much do they cost? They cost a bunch of different prices. Um, you can get a Deluxe Sherman tank for $95.99 which is a lot cheaper than a Brick Mania tank. They're usually about 200 to 300. Uh, you got landing craft, a Desert Patrol, for example. That's a $50 kit and it has those two figures with a bunch of cool accessories. So, bunch of nice prices. Battle Brick are very affordably priced, even though they are a little more expensive than n normal retail Lego figures and sets. Um, you got like some, some of these cool military figures for about $14.99. It's a little more than average on like a, say, a city or a fire or a police figure from those different themes, but they're much more affordable than a lot of different brands. So, Here's Malastair and R. Claxton, Karen, a bunch of our friends. Thank you all for joining. Yeah, all of these are available on our website too. All the figures, all the sets, everything in the military. And uh, you can find a link in the description or just go to atlbrick.com. Yeah. One day I'll get into military, but not uh, uh, Battle Brick. There's the logo right there. That's the uh, name of the company, AB Bricks. Have you watched the new Lego Ninjago season? I have not, Dawson. I was busy watching Lego Dreams, which was, eh, it was all right. Grant, have you seen the latest? One episode. One episode. How was it? Just, it's okay. I, it was okay? I think there's potential. Potential, okay. I'm going to try to within the next couple of weeks. Gotcha. So. Thanks, Grant. But yep. I will say, the markets, great set. Yes. Get it. I think uh, Grant and Joe and everybody else who was able to get one has highly recommended the markets, Ninjago City markets set. So if you like Ninjago, get that set and then come to our store and get the rest of them that we have. <laughs> Absolutely. A.B. Burks, glad you got to see some military stuff. Let's see. I'm enjoying dreams. Yeah. So there's a couple episodes in the middle, which are uh, not easy to get through. But uh, overall, I did enjoy it. It was it was, it was pretty good. I, I think that uh, there's a lot of potential there. There's some things that they definitely had made a story and uh, character mistakes on. I think the writing team needs to uh, connect with the building team a little bit uh, more. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting a lot of dream sets, though. It's red coats slash blue coats. It's on now, guys. Oh, no. The sister's voice is too shrill. Yes. She has uh, an annoying voice, to say the least. That is one of my main critiques with uh, Lego Dreams. But, I mean, it could be worse. You, it could be video. No. <laughs> Video, uh, they made a mistake and really relied on the app that you have to download. But uh, the sets, honestly, they're some pretty cool pieces. So, L Lego Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sets, we can go check those out. That'd be fun. 
Do you guys have any of the new Jurassic Park sets? I don't think so, Andre, but we can go um, check out the Jurassic World sets that we do have. We still have a lot of those. So we'll go look at those. And then uh, if we're looking at Leo Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are right below those if we have any. So we got a bunch of Jurassic World, which same dinosaurs, different vehicles, you know, different eras. Like there's some over here. Got some of the original characters and cool dinosaurs, but not from the uh, series you might think. So lots of Jurassic. There's a little bit of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All we've got is this uh, Karai Bike Escape, I believe it's best. <laughs> Mark, have you shown this stream the blue coat shirts? Got to make them sales and get those shirts out there. So I don't think we have any printed ones on hand yet, Malister. But uh, we will soon. <laughs> Let's see, Grumpy J, I saw you are excited for the Hocus Pocus set on your YouTube. Yeah, it's it, we'll be talking about it tomorrow on the Morning Brick. Um, unfortunately, Daniel won't be with us, but hopefully Joe is. Joe was feeling sick today. That's why he's not in today. So worst case scenario, it'll be me and Randy talking about it. But um, it, it, we should have at least a couple people able to discuss it. Any new brick arms? Not yet, uh, Dawson. We will be ordering more soon, though. So keep an eye out for those. Mark, do you know when the Orlando store will open? I wish I knew, Karen. Um, as far as I know, it's going to be sometime mid to late July. They're getting a lot of stuff ready to go. Their figures are pretty much all where they should be lined up. Um, we're sending them a lot, and I mean a lot, of built sets to put out for display in the cases. Uh, basically, the last couple of weeks, any extra sets that we've gotten in on trade, we will put out uh, in a, a shipping container to send to Orlando. So they will be getting a ton of stuff soon. So keep an eye out for them soon. Yeah, yeah. Daniel is still here for now. He leaves tomorrow at like five in the morning. Exactly. We won't be seeing Daniel tomorrow for the morning break, unfortunately. Randy needs to review the Hocus Pocus. Yes, that uh, we'll see if we can make that happen. I know she's going to be buying it. If she feels like sharing her thoughts on the YouTube channel, that would be a good video. <laughs> Let's see. I would love to. Yeah, I would love to see Randy discuss the Hocus Pocus. Set. She's a big fan. Yes, she is probably the biggest Hocus Pocus fan uh, in the store for sure. So. Yay! Built sets in OBC. I'm all in for that. Yeah, me too, Brad B. That's when I go to buy a Lego. The best savings are the built sets. They're already marked down the lowest, most affordable prices. But then you get special sales like Ed's 20% off all built sets sale. And then a uh, $80 set goes down another 20% off. And that becomes a very affordable Lego build. So. Uh, Daniel, what a slacker. Should leave at like four to beat the traffic. I think he's already leaving pretty early to beat the traffic, uh, Nexus. But yes. Oh, so some fun things that have happened today, just today. Uh, both John and Grant have been here working, and they have put out tons of Star Wars figures and tons of, I think it's Ninjago figures you updated? The Ninja. And uh, any Marvel, or is that tomorrow? Uh, probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. They're doing a great job on the figures, though. They look the best they have in a while, since the last time we restocked them, so they look fantastic. Hey, Mark, where was Heart Lake City Drama on Sunday? So, Lima Bricks, I ran out of time last week, and I did not get it done, unfortunately. So, uh, they got postponed a week. We can say uh, maybe sports got in the way. <laughs> Something like that. So. But we'll be back with Heart Lake City Drama, hopefully next Sunday, once they get it filmed. I should have plenty of time this week to film several episodes. So. Lego Star Wars Battle Droid Tanks. Okay. That's a good request, Dawson. Let's see what well, we're in the Star Wars section, so let's see what we got here. So there's some droid vehicles down there, a little hover speeder thingy. A droid tanks. There's a U-wing, that's a nice ship. General Grievous is Starfighter. There's a Republic fighter tank. Don't see any droid tanks yet. I know we have a few in the box, I think, though. Hold on, let's, let's circle around here. How will they announce the opening? I'm going to go. I live in Palm Beach. That's nice, Karen. It, it, it'll be exciting to attend that live. We'll be sure to blast that all over social media once we know the exact date. We want to make it kind of a big, happy opening event. 
So we will certainly be there. Do you have any Jurassic Park or Stufford the Jurassic June? Um, we have a lot of Jurassic World sets, AB Bricks. We checked those out just a minute ago, but I don't think we have any Jurassic Park themed sets. So we have some from Jurassic World, not Jurassic Park. Me wing? No, you wing. Uh, <laughs> I said you wing. It's a you wing. It's a you wing. It's not a me wing. It's a you wing. You wing. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm not seeing a lot of clone tanks, unfortunately. I thought we had one here with Jar Jar hanging off of it, but somebody must have bought that set. Also, y'all make sure to like the stream. We will, Emmy. Thank you so much for the reminder. And I think uh, Karen and Brad P were mentioning earlier that, you know, feel free to join the memberships program, too. It starts at 99 cents a month, which is very affordable. If you can't afford that, I, I feel very sorry for you. So. Sith Infiltrator, a new sealed one. That's an awesome set. All righty. June is dairy days in Washington. Let's see some cows. Oh, there you go. Let's sit over and look at the cows for T Valkyrie here. There's Garrett. How you doing, Garrett? Hello. <laughs> that was the most enthusiastic wave I've seen from Garrett in a long time. That was great. All righty. We got a couple of cows down here. We're still missing the cow with black and white spots. Well, it's the white cow with black spots or the black cow with white spots. Either way. And uh, you got the two brown cows over here, one with the long horns, one with the short horns. They're both pretty expensive. Looks like a cow goes for somewhere in the range of $50. So, yeah, you got to invest in a dairy cow, at least in Lego form. But how and where do I join? Oh, Andrew, if you are on a browser, you can go to our YouTube channel, and under the different tabs, it'll have uh, videos, community tab, memberships. If you hit that, you'll, it'll take you to a page that explain all about it, and uh, it's definitely worth joining. Oh, look, look at this. Hello. You got a Hello. Garrett minifig. That's amazing. It looks just like him. Ed made it. It's so funny. So, Garrett, are you going to put your figure in the city with the rest of I the figures? I think that's all we need to. Uh, I think that's the best place to keep it for now. Otherwise... You may have to put a bionicle worm in the yeah. hand or something. <laughs> yeah. If your pet crotta. Right. There you go. But uh, I think otherwise, we're, we'll be tempted to sell it here at the counter. Right. Since someone will be like, I'll pay you a million dollars for it. Well, we just can't say no to that. Piece. Exactly. We can't say no. <laughs> so, John, where's your figure? What's, what's uh, <laughs> I have a fig at home. Oh, okay. That's good. You keep them safe at home. That's good. Oh, Nexus Zach says, it's John. Hey, Nexus. They recognize you. It's good. They recognize everybody back there, basically. Oh, wow. Looks like Garrett for sure. All right. So we saw the cows. What is our next request here? What are your Lego animals? Can you show me a little sparrow-like bird that's red? Ooh. Let's see. That was... That comment was filled with typos, but I figured out the gist of it. There are some uh, old school uh, parrot animals back there, but I don't know if we have the new school ones. There's a newer turtle, newer chameleon, newer monkeys. Some penguins are newer too. Hi from Boiling UK. There you go, Jason. Thanks for joining us. That's not Garrett doesn't have a bionicle. Mini figure torso, you're right. You get the right torso for him. Although, Garrett does wear a lot of uh, Hawaiian shirts too, so that makes sense. So. Steve Valkyrie, what's your favorite cheese? Ooh, I'm just a basic cheddar cheese guy. But I do like some mozzarella too. So I don't know about you guys. Mild cheddar, there you go, yep. Sharp cheddar, like if it's like a very much the side of a dish, Sharp cheddar is okay, but if it's like the main bulk of whatever you're eating, that's pretty sharp. You know what I'm saying? Will OBC have its own brick lanta? I hope so, Lemur Bricks. They uh, they really would be easy. It would be Brick Lando, which actually sounds pretty interesting. Let's see. Uh, Dawson says, bye, Marcus. Steven. hope you're having a good day today at work. Please be safe and be careful. Will do, Dawson. Thank you for tuning in. Fontina. There you go. <laughs> Any new Harry Potter sets? We probably got a few new ones. We can go over and check Harry Potter. We haven't seen Harry Potter in a little while. Let's go look at that. There we go. 
So over here is our Harry Potter section. I'm pretty sure Caitlin recently reorganized quite a bit of this yesterday, which I think was her last day for a while because she's going away for the summer. But she'll hopefully be back and be able to visit. So. Let's see here. Do you have any new non-production elements in your store besides what's in the store? Like, none on the website. We can check for those, Jelly Joe. There's a, there's a lot of non-production pieces over there on display. So, Hospital Wing. That's relatively new, but that's just a new retail setup as well, I believe. $50? That actually is a pretty good deal. 500 pieces, $50. Hungarian Horntail, an awesome dragon build. We really need to see more Lego dragons. $50. Pretty cool. Figures look very well stocked. There's a few gaps over here in the older figures. Ooh, ooh, okay. Here's a new set for you, Karen. The Durmstrang ship. I think I probably butchered the pronunciation, but that is a new set. And we got in relatively recently. $250, which is very expensive, but it is more affordable than it would be because it is certified. So that's a very cool set. So a couple of nice ones over here for sure. We've got a nice big Harry Potter section. Built Hogwarts. Here we are, Lemur Bricks. We're looking at them right now. Got a number of good sets. Here's a Hagrid's Hut. There's the extendable wall section, $30 for that. Got a couple of Hogwarts Expresses in there. There's an old one, there's the newer ones. Got a couple of Whomping Willows. There's now been multiple versions of that tree too. So it's, you know, which version of the Whomping Willow do you prefer? Let's see. You have an awesome light sand orange color for those one by eight breaks. Great, great color. Yes. There's a couple rare one by eights over there. I think we have some light gray ones too. They're also pretty rare. Hey, Mark, when are we going to get a Discord going for the members? That's a possibility, Nexus. We might have to do that. It would be a nice little discussion hub. Alrighty. Well, um, what was our other request we were talking about? We talked about Star Wars, talked about Jurassic World, talked a lot about cheese, which I like. But we don't have any cheese here for sale that I know of. I'm wearing green scrubs right now. There you go. My new SUV is red. Oh, that's a nice color for an SUV. <laughs> uh, let's see been seeing and writing some really cool figures while going through them for Orlando a lot of Ninjago, I'm excited to show the figures I have found, yes, Emmy is going through all of the figures and uh, divvying them up for Orlando to send some to there, and while she's doing that, she's picking out figures to remember to film for a minifigure of the day or week here at the store, so keep an eye out you'll uh, see some coming up soon, some really cool ones. Especially, there are a lot of underrated, super cool figures in uh, Ninjago, that's for sure. Dynomation is here. Hello, everyone. Good to see you, Dynomation. Thank you for joining us. And if any of the other newer, just joined viewers are here, feel free to drop a like. We have to get to 50 in order to unlock the Nexonite armor. So, you know, if you feel like it, drop a like. You won't regret it. I will, but you won't. <laughs> yeah. Any Weedabix castles, I wish. That is a cool set, Jelly Joe. Jell. <laughs> uh, Eldorado, still no word of the new one. Yes, I'm worried, Malastare. We'll see. Lego could be doing a great job keeping it secret, though. That might be it. So. Oh, I use Samsung, and recently they removed the autocorrect function. It's the worst. Oh, no, Nexus. That's, that's, uh, how could they just remove it? That's interesting. Darn you, Samsung. Yeah, that, that would, that sounds like a justified exclamation. 
I find it funny how after one stream I asked if y'all had Lego Orca, Lego reveals their Orca. There you go, Dynamation. Why don't you call into existence more dragons? Exactly. Where are your Lego dragons? Where are your um, Lego castles? Where are your uh, Lego SpongeBob? Any of <laughs> Lego Scooby Doo? Any of those great themes? Call more stuff into existence, Dynamation. I believe in you. But why, Mark? Why would you keep secrets from me? The most fervent and zealous of blue coat enthusiasts. Oh, no. What, what secret was that? Did I miss something? I don't know. Samsung is going downhill. That's too bad, Nixus. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know what that's like. I've had iPhones my entire life. They are super expensive, but they do work all right. So. Trevor Teen says, Block Clicker reported fourth, July 4th for El Dorado, 215 for... 2,500 pieces. Sounds too good to be true. Still no picks. Hmm. At least there's rumors. That's good. <laughs> Emmy on YouTube. Be careful about those next comments. Your boss has a real objection to that particular line of Lego. I think Chris doesn't mind them. I don't like them. I don't think Daniel like loves them. Uh, Randy, I don't think she minds them either. So I think it's mostly just me. I, I don't really. What? You, you don't hate Nexus Knights, do you? No. Uh, uh. Mid. Eh. Yeah. He, he, Daniel could care less about Nexus Knights. He just doesn't want us talking about him. So. So many base plates, yes. So many base plates. Vikings. Oh, yeah. T Valkyrie. Me and you would be over the moon with some cool Viking sets. It has been almost 20 years, 17 years, 16 years since uh, Vikings were made. So a whole generation has gone by. It's crazy. I got Nexo vibes from Steven's commission. I mean, a little bit. I think it's definitely an improvement upon that concept, but. Everybody really called the Lego Owl House into existence. There we go. We'll do a really good deal. Oh, what do we got? Only on this 900 game? bucks. 900 bucks. And we'll do 20% off on this one. Oh, well, wait, it's not built though. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll do a discount yeah, on this. It's a live stream discount. Yeah. Live stream discount. There you go. 900 bucks. I mean, yeah, look at that. How about 999? Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, oh, you were reading the price tag wrong. Oh, oh no. And John is busily putting more figures online. Good job, John. Yep. Keeping the store afloat over here. Already. Single Bring back Adventurers and Pharaoh's Quest. Yeah, those are, uh, those would really make my day too, Nexus to Zach. I would be over the moon for some adventurers. And I know BTS Dynamite, I know people are happy about it, but you know, Johnny Thunder's cool too. <laughs> a Lego Owl House. Yeah, Owl House would be a great theme. I think uh, Legend of Zelda would be an absolute uh, legendary set as well. The little owl face in the door. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wyatt comments from Facebook. Did you hear Lego is doing vending machines now in some states? Yes. I haven't seen any, but I've heard about them. I think they're like at airports and other places where you kind of are stuck for a while. Maybe malls. So yeah, definitely a cool innovation. I don't know how well they're doing, but it's just fun to hear about it. So. Zelda. Yeah, Zelda would be so good, says Emmy. Yes, I agree, Emmy. If, you know, they should also make better Mario figures. What do you think, Garrett? Better better Mario minifigures on uh, Lego yes, sets? I would love Mario minifigs, mm -hmm. but if Mario minifigs can't happen for Zelda to happen, yeah. yeah, let's do that. There you go. Switch to Zelda for a while? Oh, wow. Yeah. So many builds in my well, I love that fantasy castle vibe. And, and there's, yeah, so, so many cool characters. I love Mario, but you can just pull Zelda bills. Mm -hmm. If that leak's real about the great Deku tree, that'll be awesome. Yes, that'd be oh, a great, so great starting point. So it'd be like the bonsai tree, but better. Yeah, so, I mean, with a big face in it, right? So, yeah, so that's so cool. More Lego frogs, probably. More Lego frogs. Hyrule Castle will be amazing. Yes, Emmy. Uh, awesome. Maybe uh, the Lego executives watching this video will uh, yes. really pick up on this. Was yeah, no, just too many figures. Plain old minifigures. Yes. That's all we want. A uh, plain old Link and Zelda minifigures. Yeah. Mm. 
Mario minifigs. Yeah. Well, so the are, is that still here? That is that Mario figure I was playing with still here? No, oh, I we put it away. Okay. No worries. Um, there, we got one traded into us, and I was just kind of tinkering with it. And it's so weird. It's just a big block. It's so unusual. So. Oh, here's a nice. Uh, how much is the executor on the top shelf? Oh, hold on. Oh yeah, we've got that up there. Look at that. Uh, Alex, can you see the price tag on that uh, Super Star Destroyer up there? Yeah. Or even Ben, if Ben, if you can read it from there. I appreciate you guys helping. Thank you. Thirteen hundred. Wow, that's awesome. So thirteen hundred for the Super Star Destroyer. And uh, we got a bunch of other great sets up there, too. I think we recently put up that TIE Fighter, too. I think that one's five or six. I'm not sure. It might be a little more. Another great UCS set. <laughs> Let's see. Johnny Flounder says, Orkanov Time is my favorite game of all time. Deku Tree would be a day one if they make it from that game. I hear you, Johnny Flounder. And then uh, Metalizer had another good uh, request. Do y'all have any Mars mission? Let's go look at that. I also want to call a new Lego Stegosaurus into existence. I want the Jurassic Park Lost World set. Yeah, I'd be behind. Stegosaurus is one of my favorite dinosaurs. It's got those cool plates on the back. That'd be so cool. Dinomation knows what's up. Super Smash Bros. Lego set would break the end. Yeah, it would. <sighs> It's like we know what we want to buy from Lego, and, you know, they just don't do it for some reason. <laughs> now, Lego does a lot of stuff that I do like, but I think, you know, maybe they need to do more polls with adults, not kids. Sealed UCS tie is 420. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's see. Uh, Mars Mission. Mars Mission. And there's also Life on Mars here, too. There's a couple small Life on Mars sets back there. Small Mars mission vehicle right there. Oh, no, 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 that's a later one. That's not Mars mission. It has the same color scheme, but it's not. Let's see. I got bamboozled by those Mars city sets that are more recent. Yeah, we're pretty low on Mars mission right now. We've had a lot in the past, though. Hmm. Adventurer's Stegosaurus. Yeah, Johnny Flutter, that would be awesome. There's more time elapsed between Stego and T-Rex than there has been in between T-Rex and today. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't make sense, Geology Joe, but, you know, it's it's just, it's just cool looking, you know. That is a mind-blowing fact. It is indeed, Morgan. Geology Joe knows his stuff. Yeah, when you start thinking about eons, you start to, you know, realize, okay, one bad day isn't that big a deal. At least we got the Lego Brachiosaurus recently. Yeah, I mean, uh, we we do. Lo I love to complain a lot. I'm a I'm a grumpy Lego fan, like Grumpy Jay. But um, yeah, Lego's been doing a great job the past few years. Their designs have really been improving overall at a vast rate. So, power miners. Ooh, good request. Uh, we had a bundle of power miner sets right here, and guess what? They are all gone. So we'll look and see if we can dig any out here. We might be low, except for the rock monsters and figures we have a few left of. There's a little Power Miners driller vehicle right there. A couple more down here as well. Um, let's see. There's a couple of the rock monsters right here. There's also the row of Power Miners figures up there. But yeah, we're low on Power Miners as well, unfortunately. Well, my neighbor's pool just collapsed. Haha, <laughs> oh no. At least their lawn got watered, I hope. Uh, <laughs> Mark, you are a Lego master. I'm sure Lego would hire you and you can make out Lego set dreams come true. There you go. Hopefully so. One day, Sam, they'll make our dreams come true. I don't know if I'll ever work for Lego, though. It seems like a very nice place to work, but I don't think my Lego building skills are suited for sets. We'll see. I tend to do stuff that's a little bigger than sets, and I don't really want to work at Legoland either, so I don't know. Kind of in the stuck in the middle somewhere. Y'all get any giraffes? That's a great question. And one you won't really see on a lot of other live streams. <laughs> so, let's go check out that uh, giraffes over here. We got camels, bears, stingrays, sharks, lions, tigers, 
I don't see any giraffes, though. I know we did have one for sale. Let me check uh, Randy's desk and see. I know we had one floating around somewhere. Oh, let's see, there you go. That's a pretty good one. That one's perfect. Oh, yeah. Let's see. There's a Duplo elephant, a dragon, horses, dinosaurs. Don't see any giraffe, though. I think uh, Randy might have already processed it and put it out. So no giraffes that I know of right now, unfortunately. Good request, though. I do know there was a giraffe in a Lego Friends set. And that's probably the one you're thinking of. Let's see if I can find it here. Nope. We had a couple friend sets that had giraffes in them, so definitely check our website and make sure I'm not just missing it somewhere. But uh, we do have some Duplo giraffes over here. They don't quite fit with uh, Lego's look, though. There's two, a big one right there and a small one right there. Are the neighbors home? Not anymore. <laughs> this morning. Awesome to watch. Thankfully, the neighbor's kid, as annoying as they are, aren't, weren't in the pool. There you go. Nobody got hurt, Malister. That's good. <laughs> I like the new Friends giraffe because it looks like the West African giraffe. There you go. I didn't know uh, the species in particular, but that's pretty awesome. Afternoon from Florida. Old man likes Lego. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. By the way, that Duplo elephant came for friends. Oh, my bad, Lear Bricks. Yeah. That makes sense. I think I remember seeing it in one of these sets over here now, too. No. Outrageous. Oh, here's a good piece. If you're talking about animals, there's the baby narwhal. That's cool. Need to get that for Steven. He's a, a whale fan. Fan of whales. Cypress Street, just saw it. Wait, what? What? Jolly Joe, are you are you kidding me? <gasps> no, you weren't. You're right. There's a Cypress Street back there. That's an expensive tree. It's used as a background for the, the Disney friend, uh, Friends animals. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, if anyone wants a Cypress Street, we got one. We'll need uh, somebody to price it for us, but that's it. Where was I? Oh, also... Great, uh, great sit here. Hair salon. Perfect. Get your hair done. It's you. Great building. I like those windows. Oh, <laughs> it looks like Ollie's about to get a wig here. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> Our platoon made a, made a narwhal our mascot. It's skewered fear into our enemies. That's cool, Malister. That is a great mascot. The narwhal is too pink and unrealistic for me. I'm good with friends animals as long as they fit in the regular minifigures like the giraffe. Yeah, the giraffe is pretty realistic color, but the whale is a little bit uh, an unusual shade of pink. Well, actually, hold on, hold on. I said we don't have any giraffes, but there's one right there. Yep, giraffe. $20 on our website should be... So, yeah. Anyone going to Chicago? That's a good question, Johnny Flounder. I know that Daniel is, as well as a couple of our other employees here. I am not going to be there, unfortunately. But I will be at Virginia briefly, very much in disguise as well. So, How much is the built Eiffel Tower? We can check on that metalizer. Let's see. $600 online as is. It's very cool. It's a little dusty, some areas, but it's got those instructions, all three books, huge base plate area, four green base plates, very tall, not as tall as the new one, but it's all bricks, not bars and uh, connectors, so it's got some cool original old school Lego texture. We found the giraffe. We sure did Dynamation. We got one if you want it. That starter story is massive. Yeah, um, can't can't uh, get around the fact of how big this set is. Makes the Eiffel Tower look like a small little small little building. 
How is it dusty already? Well, it arrived fairly dusty. We cleaned it off as best we could. I think there's still a little residual left over. Lego sets get dusty pretty easy if you don't maintain them very carefully. I wish I was, but I'm saving my money for Orlando and Brickfield, Virginia. Yes, that's a good idea, Nexus. You gotta kind of pick your battles. Go choose the conventions you want to go to. Have a great time. If you go to all of them, you can stretch yourself a little thin and get tired. It's might take away some of the joy of the experience. So. How much is the Lego Winter Elves gift of purchase and Reindeer Scene gift of purchase? We can check on that. Neighbor Bricks. Let's go see. Virginia was awesome last year. That's good. I, I, I've always had a pretty good time in Virginia every time I've been there. So there's the Santa's Workshop. There's the no title. So <laughs> there's a, I think this is Santa's Yard or Santa's Backyard. Let's see. You can get some prices over here. There's the mini gingerbread house. $50. Wow. It's pretty expensive. Got the $30 Santa's yard here. You got the big gingerbread house. I want to see the price on this thing. I bet you this has gone up a little bit. $150. Not bad at all. That is a really good set, too. Um... Hmm. So interestingly, Lemur Bricks, I wasn't seeing those two sets in particular, like out where I could reach them. So here's the Elf Clubhouse, 130. So some of them I can see net prices for. The other ones you might have to check on our website. Do y'all have the exclusive Lego House Pirate? Not yet, Metalizer. We might get one eventually, but I haven't seen it here. Daniel got a couple. And it, me and Steven bought one off of him. And then I think Jacob got one for a birthday present. But that's the only ones that I've heard of in this area. I'm sure there's other people in the United States that have gotten two. But yeah, pretty hard to find. It was over by the space stuff. Oh, little chick over there. <gasps> You're right, Lamer Bricks. You know exactly where it is. Let's see. Winter Elves scene. Here we go. $40, not bad at all. Nice little scene. Ice skating while we're here, $40 as well. $40 for Santa's Workshop. Hans Christian Andersen, $50. I think it's a little bigger set. Well, no, about the same amount of pieces. That may be a bigger box or bigger something. $30 for that one too. So these are all pretty affordable. Hans Christian Andersen is a little more expensive. Not bad. Tampa show in August. Are you going to be there? We certainly are, old man likes Lego. Me and Steven will be there, as well as at least a couple of our, our um, Atlanta Brickco people. Maybe some of our Orlando Brickco people, too. We'll see. Might see Joey and Corey and some of our other friends down there. So, Yep, Johnny Flounder will be there. And Grumpy J and Brad P will be skipping into the Tampa show. <laughs> I can just see that. I hope I'm there to capture it on film. Lego Ninjago minifigures. Great request, Connor. Let's go look at them real quick. Garrett was working very hard on them earlier. So we will check on them. Just the Good says, do you have any Power Miner sets? We were looking earlier and we didn't see any, unfortunately. Well, <laughs> that's, that's not true. We had a few of the very smallest little... Uh, driller bikes. We had like two or three of those, but all the other larger sets were, were missing. We do have some of the figures available, though. Here's all of our Ninjago minifigures we have right now. Grant uh, recently restocked all these ninja figures today. Some very cool ones available. And the uh, villains look pretty good still. The um, kind of random, good and bad, neutral villagers. Guess I'm going then. There you go, Corey. Wish I could be there to see that. Yeah, that'll be a quite the sight, I'm sure. Brad P, I'm skipping world champion of 94. LOL, there you go. I can only attend the Tampa show on Saturday, but I plan on being there as I've already bought my tickets. That's that's good you can be there for at least a day, Brad P. Most Lego conventions you can walk through in one day and really get the overall experience no problem. 
What Lego cars do y'all have? We got a lot, G Frosty. Let's see. Or Frosty. Got a number of cool sets right up here. These are all the racers ones. You got some micro racer sets. They have these little cars and these little scenes. No May figures. There's a big race car. There's a Ferrari. I think this is a Lamborghini here. Oh no, this is another Nitro muscle car. Lamborghini. Some more micro racers. A lot of race car sets. Got a big McLaren Formula One. Massive Technic set. And even more in the uh, Technic area, you've got some Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. Got the Creator Fiat 500. Another Ford Mustang. I think you got the Camaro down below it. Got the Bugatti Bolide here. A couple great sets. My step bro moved to Nashville, so I want to visit him and come down to ABC. There you go. That'd be awesome, Jolly Joe. Be great to have you over. Do you have the Tracker 1? Oh, I'm trying to picture what set that is. First, I think Garrett's getting a, a hat. <laughs> <laughs> so, so for, for reference, guys, so now you put that on Garrett's head. I thought of one of the new Ninjago figures. <laughs> That's pretty good. We're, we're cosplaying. That's good. That's yeah. good. Do you have an Optimus Prime set? I think we did, but it's sold. Because uh, it was right over here, and I do not see it anymore. So I think we are out of Optimus Prime. We do have a couple of Globes and the uh, Bowser set. Don't have any Jurassic Park slash World sets. We sure do, Dynomation. We don't have any Jurassic Park. We do have plenty of Jurassic World over there, too. So we'll go look at that really quick. I'm a holdout. I'm not leaving California. There you go, Jelly Joe. Hey, it's. I've heard it's very nice over there. I mean, weather-wise. I don't know about uh, taxes and stuff, but yeah. Let's see. Plenty of Jurassic World here. Trying to scroll through all these comments. Thank you guys for commenting and liking. Appreciate it. But yeah, plenty of Jurassic World. I like that Carnotaurus in there. T-Rex, Dinosaur, Breakout, Blues, Helicopter, Pursuit. Ooh, look at that. Pyroraptor and Dilophosaurus Transport. That's pretty cool. Very cool. The Atrociraptor and the T-Rex. Very nice. Yeah, plenty of Jurassic World items. I don't think we have any Jurassic Park, unfortunately. Hopefully soon. We'll be getting more circulating very quickly. I don't plan on buying anything at Brickford VA. Just want to see the exhi exhibitions and displays. Yes. Um, you know, if you shop at Atlanta Brickco, the vendors at Lego conventions might seem a little bit like, oh, okay, well, that's, that's quaint. But <laughs> it's still great. If you don't have a giant Lego store like ours next to you, uh, it's a great place to get some cool stuff. It is a little bit convention pricing, which means it's a little more expensive than usual, but uh, it's definitely worth checking out. For me, conventions are always about the builds and the artistry on display because they're truly phenomenal. So. What horse sets do you have? Hmm. Like stables and horse riding stuff? That's probably Lego Friends. We'll check it out really quick here. I got a lot of T-Rex and Atrociraptor sets. We do. Probably too many. Horse riding sets. There was a stables here somewhere. Where did it go? Well, there's a barn up here. I remember doing a Heart Lake City drama on this one. I could reach it. Ugh. Organic farm. It's pretty cool. I don't think that's exactly a horse themed. I had some friends horse pieces. Oh, there's a good one. Emma's horse trailer. I think that's expensive because it's a wave one set. I know Lego City has a horse trailer that they sell as well. Oh, hold on. There we go. Forest Horseback Riding Center. There's a horse theme set. It's pretty cool. Got 
Got to go. Have a great, uh, good one, y'all. Thanks, Sam. Take care. You guys have a good one. Shelf from the thumbnail with the old school cast sets. Yes, Tom. Let me head over there. It's behind the counter. We'll check it out. And we're at 45 minutes here on the stream. Plenty of time to leave a like and get me to wear my next night armor. If not, I will be laughing all the way home. <laughs> but, you know, it, there's still plenty of time. Does this set count Lance's mecha horse? No, it doesn't, Morgan. That is a Nexonite hey, garbage. No, no, don't even start, Grant. No, that's my favorite one. All right, first we got to talk about the bark speeder with the uh, sidecar. That's super cool. Obi Wan and Captain Rex chasing some random commando droid. All right, uh, you got some classic castle sets over here. You got the uh, wolf pack. I think it's the river fortress. River fortress. River bridge. I don't know the exact title. Is that what is it called? Wolfpack Tower. You got the Knight's Stronghold. Royal Knight's Castle. Magisto's Magical Workshop. A couple of red coat and pirate sets up here, too. Ooh, this is nice. A little pirate base. 150 bucks. Certified complete. Original instructions, not the original box. You can see some of the awesome pieces in there. Santa Fe Train hiding back here, too. And then a few more Star Wars up here. Got the ATT, Anakin's Custom Jedi Starfighter, the Pirate Treasure Chest of Adventure. $800 because we've never seen anything like it. It's pretty cool. A couple more cool sets. You got the Republic Gunship sealed. Oh, new ish. I think the one behind it is sealed. And then you got the uh, certified Django Fetch Slave one up there, too. UCS Assault on Hoth. There's some more Jurassic World as well. The Indominus Rex, T-Rex break, or no. Indominus Rex, not T-Rex. Breakout. So pretty cool. Oh, did we get 50 likes? Did we get 50 likes? I see, see Grumpy J saying 50 likes, but I think it's just fake news. Seriously, Mark, we need a Discord or something for our members. That would be cool, Nexus. I will have to see what we can do on that front. But yeah, lots of great sets up on the top shelf. However, it is kind of hard for me to look up at them like that, so I'm going to keep moving. Keep flipping them? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> anyway, another great set we have is the Venator. Awesome Star Wars set. No, 45, 47, okay. Hashtag fake news. Yeah, Grumpy J trying to jump the gun. It is wishful thinking. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have to hit a few more likes on there. Well, while we're waiting for those likes to arrive, let's look at the ATOT over here. I didn't realize how cool this build looks, like, landed. You can see the ship, just imagine it, just yeah. dropping those legs down, just taking off. Super cool concept. It's like a big helicopter dropping a tank onto the battlefield. Used to have the Endowment Strikes breakout set complete, but now the pieces are lost in my Lego boxes. Oh no! That's okay. At least you still have the pieces. Emmy, make everyone at the store hit the like button. Well, I, I'm not going to ask them to, but if they wanted to, they could. It's easy to just, you know, load up that YouTube. How much is the built ATOT? Great, great question, Morgan. Let's see. Uh, 1300 So $1,299.99. So. The rocket was hard to build. Oh, I'm sorry, Jelly Joe. I bet it was. It's got it's deceptively simple looking. It is very complex to build. Uh, Mike Psyche and Coral Merriam spent a long time designing that set. A couple very nice modulars hiding up here by the Ghostbusters Firehouse. I did it once already, but I can do it again. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Brad B. You guys are true fans. I appreciate you all. I have the Indominus on my shelf. It's still in good condition. That's good, Dynamation. That's the valuable part of it. Did Garrett hit the like button? He might have. I don't know. Better go tell him to. I, oh, I'm not going to order people to like the video. They can if they want to or if they remember. There's those cool agent base doors with the metallic silver pieces. Very cool. 
49 likes so close. Yeah, can we get, I mean, we can get one more like, right? I can't see how many people are watching, but it should be that few people. So. If you're financially able to, join as a member and get that really cool logo next to your name. Yes. Joining a membership here is great. You get all the emojis, a lot of fun stuff like that. So. Mm hmm all right what have we not looked at oh this coliseum's new garrett was thinking about buying this one will you putting it up for sale soon garrett was that close to pulling the trigger on it yeah i just moved into a new place and i haven't even unpacked yeah there's no room for you it. You don't even want to start that right now. Yep. Yeah, not yet. Mm -hmm. I was going to take it apart. I was going to roll it down the ramp oh. here anyway. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. We haven't looked at Bricklanta yet, but uh, apparently Brad P is saying hashtag armor up. And Grumpy Juice says crying emoji. Let's go, people. We've never missed a day. Is it, is it 50 likes? You might have to seal the deal. I'm already liked. I was one of the first to like. Oh. I, I liked it when there was nine likes. Oh. How okay. many of you, you would like me? There you go. What do we got? Is that at 50 likes now? Let's take a look. They're all dropping next in emojis. I better head over that way. Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay. <clears throat> Turn this around real quick here. There you go. All right. Let me get the next tonight armor. Here it is. Next to my other stuff. Get that like that. Perfect. Magnificent. Yeah, one day I'm going to have to cosplay as a next tonight warrior knight and have some cool armor. I was the second person to like the video. Beat that Garrett. <laughs> there you go, Nexus. Thank you. Mark, you don't believe one of your assigned moderators? I just like to, you know, stall Brad P. I'm like, I'm hesitating to put my armor on. It's <laughs> not that I don't trust you. You're probably the most trustful, trustworthy person here. Yay, we still got it going. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my goodness. Now you can drool and not regret it. Exactly. I got my bib. <laughs> to keep my snacking self safe. Mm. <laughs> Is my evil twin. Oh, no. So we got a very nice globe set here. $200. Plus 20% off. So good savings there. You got an awesome... Uh, Cyan Lamborghini here too. But next is who is first? <laughs> well, thank you guys for those early likes. It helps a lot. Lemur Bricks. I had a feeling, exactly. Lemur Bricks with his evil doppelganger. Brad P. I don't know. That Bricky Bobby can sense to that. Exactly. I have a suggestion. Put the armor on Bricky Bobby every Tuesday and Friday. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't do that to him. He's so innocent. Look at this. It's a face. You can't harm Bricky Bobby by putting next to night stuff on it. That'd be terrible. He's got a great logo on his torso. Lego City box sets. I mean, we may as well go check him out, Connor. Spell check on a MacBook Pro stinks. That Yeah, I can confirm that. It's not the best. The iPhone works pretty well for me, but uh, there's always its problems, too. So, Lego City box sets. Here we are. We've got a ton of them. This is one of my favorites, though. You've got the brown bear, grizzly bear, with the Forest Police Station. $120, 600 pieces, a bunch of great figures, and especially that, uh, you know, almost $50, $60 brown bear. He might be more than that now, too. I don't know. Great set. Numbered bags. They're like, oh, look, we're special. We've got numbered bag. Let me put this right here. Yeah. Old Lego City or new Lego City? Ooh, like this is a preference, Wyatt? That's a good question. Um, new Lego City's got some great stuff, but that old classic, like 90s and 80s Lego City, 
those are sweet too. That's what I grew up with was the old city. So kind of both. Um, but if I had to pick one to like get or buy right now, I'd probably go for an old city set. But it's really close. I think um, old city and then the kind of middle city, the early 2000s and 2010s, they were okay. Yeah. What's your favorite Lego T-Rex? Personally, while I don't have it, I feel like the 2018 Fallen Kingdom T-Rex. There's some good ones. Um, I kind of like the old dino green one. Let's go look at that one really quick. Let's see. Look at the uh, green dino up here. That one's one of my favorites. I just like that color. It's got that uh, olive green with the reddish brown and dark brown exterior. It's pretty cool. Yeah, me too. The new city ones are the ones with the new box art designs. Yes, the newest few waves of city have been really good. They, I like how they're introducing characters, giving them a little bit of a story too. So I think that's a good uh, good move. Like Dr. Spetzel, he's great. And Dr. Fleeber, I probably mispronounced that, but that's uh, <laughs> some great characters. Mark should buy a handful of the upscale. Oh, I missed the count. Upscale Lego minifigure and give Bricky Bobby an army. <laughs> Maybe a little cousin or something. Bricky Timmy. Oh, we were talking about horse sets earlier, too. This is one of those horse sets that you got to get. The horse transporter, a.k.a. the Martin Harris Battle Pack. $30. Great deal. I got two of these just because it's got some good pieces and a horse in it. So. Bricklanta. Yeah, let's go look at Bricklanta. Let's head over to Bricklanta. We've been in city for a second. Thank you for the suggestion, Grumpy J. I prefer 20, 2010 to 2019 Lego City. Lego City Adventures really took the theme downhill. Oh, okay. Insider information there, Lego Bricks. Good to know. Oh, the train isn't moving. It might have gotten stopped. But the party at Bricklanta always goes on. <laughs> I don't know who put the raptor on the bicycle, but that's the best thing I've seen all day. That is amazing. I bet you that was Daniel, but it could be anybody. So Steven has put some work into this corner, and I think it looks a lot better. You get a couple of Friends-themed buildings here. That one is actually basically a set with only some minor modifications. This is more of a, a build from Steven. Did we have a derailment? I'm sure we did, Morgan. We can go see if the, the derailed train is there. Yep, there it is. And I don't know why it's not running. It just seems to be stationary. I bet it, bet it got stuck. I'll fix it after the stream, but... Uh, yeah. And it looks like Emma is hanging out with uh, the characters from the Room movie. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Exactly. And then uh, Steven also finished the Jersey Mike's. I think we showed this off last Friday too. But uh, yeah, finished off some nice details. The roof wasn't done before. <laughs> looks like uh, Dennis is fighting with Mothman over some Jersey Mike sandwiches. So that's pretty funny. Oh, Karen is heading out. Take care, Karen. You have a great day. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, the humanity, says Morgan. <laughs> the, the friend's train got stuck. That's too bad. I think someone plays with displays at Atlanta at Bricklanta just to get the attention of the live cast. Yeah, exactly. You guys are probably the most invested in the stories that are happening here in the city. I try to pay attention, but I'm also pretty busy at work, so I don't always see everything. But I definitely notice it when I'm looking at it with you guys, so it's pretty fun. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. We're at 59 minutes, so I'm going to start winding down here. Let me see if I can track Daniel down. But um, cause Joe isn't here. Where's Daniel? No, Daniel isn't here. All right, I'll have to hit the button myself. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll have so many more live streams coming out the rest of the week. We got Wednesday morning with the morning brick. We've got the Thursday evening Joya building with Stephen and Garrett. We've got the Friday stream, and we've got our between the Suns and Saturday. So feel free to check out any of those cool Lego videos. Sure, appreciate you.